Once again, my favorite time of the day to be able to spend in conversation with you, trying to disseminate the information, trying to understand this balance between ending or slowing the spread of COVID-19 uh, and also reopening America again. You can hear it in the president's voice. He, ke he keeps saying with more urgency, we've got to get the, com the country open again. This country was not made for this. This country is being damaged badly the, every single day. Um, I, you know, I think about things like baseball season and uh, restaurants that may have a very difficult time reopening. The president predicts we're going to come back with, uh, with a huge, huge roar. Um, I hope he's right. I, but, the, but right now, Americans are, I believe, um, focused on getting over the virus, getting this thing to wash through, seeing these curves go down. And we're seeing good numbers on the models, but I want to warn you about the model. The, a model that the White House has been using, the, it's called the IHME model, is now predicting that the United States may need fewer hospital beds, ventilators, and other equipment than previously estimated. And the model has been revised as of this morning. The model had been revised with a further downward projection predicting a total a total now of 60,400 American deaths by August. The peak of deaths in America is expected to arrive in four days, April 12th. And then it's going to flatten, and then it's going to go downward. And the total through August is expected now, according to this model now, to be 60,000 deaths. Now, you understand, I know what's going to what people are saying. That's the uh, those that's the amount of that's the number of deaths in a normal flu season, uh, or in a you know moderate to average flu season, maybe a little bit higher than usual, but not much. And I get it. I hear you already, and I'm going to tell you you're going to make yourself crazy if you go down that path. Here's what I don't understand about all the comments I've seen on social media, and maybe you can help explain this to me. If this is the case, well, it's not like we didn't shut the country down or anything. I mean, it isn't like we aren't all staying at home for weeks and weeks on end. How does that not? How did that not help? And I'm confused. I, I bear with me. If I'm missing something, you let me know. But you call me right now and you tell me how people aren't understanding that this number, if it's true, and we don't know that. I, I, Sometimes I think they, they make it up as they go. But let's just say, I mean, right now we're at over 12,900 deaths in the United States. That's 12,900 funerals, 12,900 grieving families, people from all walks of life, all income levels, all races, although African Americans do seem to be disproportionately hit by coronavirus. More on that in just a bit. But let's understand something here. We can't pretend we didn't shut the country down. So this number, this number is after America has engaged in dramatic, severe mitigation. So I, I'm, I, you just took, I, again, maybe I'm a little slow to the dance here, but as we kick off another hour here in the relieffactor.com mobile studios, Mike's Kitchen, <laughs> um, Welcome back, incidentally, and thank you for being a part of this. Um, got, a, got the nicest compliment last night from a friend of mine who's been listening and been a, been a friend for many years. He said, I've listened to you for about 15 years. You've never done better radio than what you're doing these days. And I, I don't like to toot my own horn, uh, but I was just humbled by that. I, our team is on it. I'm focused. I mean, I know it's because we are living this together and we feel a very, very deep sense of responsibility to get it right. I'm choosing my words carefully, um, and I am trying to... Uh, listen, a lot of people mocked the president the other day for saying he's a cheerleader for America. No, a lot of us are cheerleaders 
for the United States, and I'm cheering that we beat this thing. I'm cheering that the economy can come roaring back. I'm cheering for every single person who listens to this show and, and everybody you come in contact with. We're America. We're going to get through this. This has been tough. This has been damaging. This has been challenging. We're going to get through this, and we're going to see what this is going to be like on the other side. So let's go back to these numbers because I've got to understand something here. When you say, ah, 60,000 deaths, that's the flu, why do you leave out the severe mitigation we've done? I, I just want to know. I'm not, tr I'm not making a judgment here, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to understand the response from a lot of like-minded people who seem to think we overreacted because of these models. 1-800-655-MIKE. Let's start there. 800-655-6453 is my number. Press 1 to come on air with us. Press 2 to leave a voicemail message. Or you could leave us a text message on the MyPillow text line. And incidentally, that has become a valuable resource for me, too. 